We stopped in here at T.O. Heiner Company here in Houston. We have four Centroids here that we've done. These are a couple, another couple old Morisikis. One of these startup runs a TL5 that we retrofitted with new Yaskawa servo drives and the MPU11 GPIO4. And the other one next to us is an SL3 that we did after, after that one. So what are the parts you're making here on it now? It's the seat for a compressor valve. And this is one of your old products that you do? You do the bump right. them all the time? Right. This is one of the most things that we do. But lately we've gotten into a lot of other more job shop type stuff where we'll take just about anything. This was the machine you used to have a Fanuc 6 control on it. And I remember we had lots of troubles with the spindle drive and the control just not wanting to keep up to what you wanted to run with it. Yeah, it was just worn out. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't much we could do with it and replacing the spindle drive and the drive motors, the uh, axis motors. It's a it's lot nicer a lot machine of, now. Yeah, a lot nicer machine. You do all your programming offline, write your own G-code. Right. And just load them to the USB drive. Right. Uh, the old one you had to use an R232 cable. Right. Yeah, this is a lot, this is a lot easier just using that jump drive. Right. And you can keep everything right on the jump drive, makes it easy to transport back and forth. Right, and it's got enough memory, I can just, basically, I'll leave everything out here, so next time it comes up, it's already out here. Right. <clears throat> but it'll be on transfer from jump drive back to the computer in the office, so it'll have it in more than one place. Mm -hmm. And all the G-code you write with your software offline loads right in, it can run fine? Right, yeah. You like the graphics on the screen where you can see what it's actually going to do before it does it? Yeah, that's a huge advantage. Yeah, yeah if you got a little boo-boo somewhere, it's easier to make it draw a line in the wrong spot than a tool in the wrong spot. Yeah, I end up breaking a tool, tearing up a, <clears throat> messing up your part. A lot of damage you could save. I saw a while ago on the other machine, you used the, uh, the uh, run search where you just started up in the middle of the program. You use that a lot? Yeah, actually that comes in real handy. That's one of the nicest things about that control is you can call it up to just about anywhere in the program you want and it'll read down through everything that came before that line you asked for so it knows where to start at. Whereas the old Fanuc controller wouldn't do that. You pretty much Yeah, you had to start at the beginning. beginning of the tool and just go right. on run a whole lot of cut and error before you got the cut part. Yeah, because it wouldn't know where you're at right. unless you call it up at the beginning of that tool. This, it, it picks all that stuff up for you. <laughs> Saves a lot of time. Yeah. That's why you upgrade stuff. <laughs>